Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This video is in a series of videos where we are talking about roles and responsibilities of officers and crew on board a merchant ship. In this video, we are going to talk about roles and responsibilities of junior engineers, basically third engineer and fourth engineer on board a merchant ship. Let's go into the video. Junior engineers, third engineer and fourth engineer. Coming to the certification part, third engineer and fourth engineer both require only one certificate which is called the class 4 certificate of competency okay it is from the promotion from fourth engineer to third engineer is basically based on the company's requirement and they can promote based on the experience of the engineer in the fourth engineer rank to be promoted to third engineer it is similar to the deck of deck side where the third officer can be promoted to second officer after obtaining the officer of the watch certification and both second officer and third officer require the same certification. Similarly here third engineer and fourth engineer require the same COC for both the ranks. The first rank is the fourth engineer and then he gets promoted to the third engineer. These two ranks are mainly for supporting the senior officers in the engine room side in their daily operations and in case of emergency. There are some ships which don't have a fourth engineer and only the complement of the engine room officers will be chief engineer, second engineer and a third engineer. Again it depends on the safe manning requirement and also the size of the ship and the trade of the ship. It also sometimes may depend on the age of the ship as the ship becomes old, the machinery requires frequent maintenance and has lot of breakdowns regularly. Hence, there is a fourth engineer also placed to assist in the breakdown maintenance of the machineries. Hence, the requirement of fourth engineer is very, very much dependent on the condition of the vessel. Let's go into the duties of third engineer and fourth engineer. I have combined both third engineer and fourth engineer for a reason. Because as I mentioned, it is possible that the, the vessel doesn't have a fourth engineer and hence the third engineer will require to do the, both the third engineer's and the fourth engineer's duty. And also, it depends specifically on the company on the responsibilities of third engineer and fourth engineer which is mentioned in the safety management system manual. Hence, we have covered both third engineer and fourth engineer duties and the distribution can be based on the company's safety management system manuals. Assist senior engineers in the operation and maintenance of ships, machinery and equipment. This is their major role and they basically assist and ensure the equipments and machinery are working in order under the guidance of second engineer and instructions from chief engineer. Overseeing and participating in the maintenance and repair of the ship engines, generators, pumps and other mechanical systems. There are so many machinery and all the machinery require regular maintenance where the second, the, the second engineer gives the instructions and in the supervision, the second engineer, third engineer, fourth engineer, the engine room ratings and sometimes the chief engineer involve themselves in getting the machinery maintained depending on the size of the machinery. Maintain and repair machinery equipment and systems including diesel engines, generators, pumps, compressors, boilers and refrigerant systems. These are basically other equipments which I have not mentioned in the previous point. And again all the machinery are required to be maintained and the junior engineers basically assist and oversee the repair and maintenance of this machinery. Monitoring the ship's fuel consumption and ensuring that proper fuel oil and lubricating oil levels are maintained. This is again in some of the companies, the fourth engineer look after this part of the fuel oil consumption and in some companies, the third engineer is in charge of the fuel consumption where every day soundings are taken to ensure the consumption of fuel oil on a daily basis and also giving a report to the chief engineer on the levels of fuel oil and other oils available on board the ship and to order accordingly. Operating and maintaining the ship's sewage treatment and freshwater systems. Again, as I mentioned, these are two very critical equipments which are overseen by the second engineer or operated by the junior engineers. 
monitoring and maintaining of ship's auxiliary equipment such as air compressors, refrigeration systems and boilers. Again, this is basically sometimes the requirement of the comes under the job responsibility of the fourth engineer. In some cases, it comes under the job responsibility of the third engineer. Assisting with operation and maintenance of ship steering gear and navigation systems. These are again more of equipment. So basically overall what I'm trying to uh, explain here is that all the machineries on board the vessel are maintained by the engine room team which are mainly operated by these two junior engineers and overseen by the senior engineers, the second engineer and the chief engineer. Participate in regular drills and training exercises to prepare for emergencies. Like everybody, like every seafarer on board, these two also participate in all the emergency drills and ensure maintenance of the emergency equipment so that these equipments are operational during an emergency. Assist senior engineers in their duties. Both third engineer and fourth engineers may also be responsible for maintaining inventory levels of spare parts, equipments, ensuring that proper tools and equipments are available for repairs and working with other crew members to ensure the ship runs smoothly and efficiently. So basically they are part of the full engine room team, the ratings, the junior engineers, second engineer, chief engineer, the electrical officer and the fitter in some cases. This comprises of the whole engine room team and the whole team works cohesively to ensure all the operation of the machinery and maintenance of the machinery are carried out on time to ensure safe passage of the vessel from port A to port B. That completes a short video on the duties and responsibilities of third engineer and fourth engineer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, kindly do comment below. And also if you have requirement of any other topic which needs to be covered, please do write in the comments and I will be happy to do the video in our future courses. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.